Today we have South Park Stanley's Cup. Here we go. Being a delivery boy for the South Park Gazette is a noble privilege. I'm sorry, Mr. Jarvis. It's just that I have to get up at 4 a.m. to deliver your paper, and then I go to school all day. Oh, where, where, where? We've all got problems, pussy. Get oh, shit. He just called Stan a pussy. Used to it. You aren't delivering the papers on time. My bike had a busted pedal, but I got it fixed, so there won't be a problem anymore. Is that your bike out there? Yeah, why? Because it's being towed. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, who the hell tows a freaking bike? That's crazy. Hey, hey, what are you doing? Is this your bike? Yes! It's on the impound list. You owe the county for tickets. <laughs> Dude, I need my... <laughs> it's, it's pretty funny they have a little machine to tow a bike. I didn't know they had that. Bike to do my job. Yeah, well, my job is to tow this bike. You want it back, you talk to the county. No, no! Do not tow my bike! Stop, asshole! <laughs> 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 God damn, Stan got fucked. Stan Marsh is a bright young man. He's got a great family, a promising paper rack. Only problem is, his bike's. What the hell is this? <laughs> been impounded. But now, he's about to find out that getting his bike. Okay, I think they're like making fun of those cheesy 90 movie trailers. Back. Look, I really need my bike. Well, I'm afraid I can't give it to you. Because then you wouldn't learn anything. What do I have to learn? This isn't fair! Whoa, whoa, hold on. You know, that's actually a pretty good point, you know. Taking his bike so he can, like, learn, I guess. Actually, maybe it's not such a good point. Done. I've looked your case over and I think maybe we can cut a little deal here. According to your background check, when you were in kindergarten, you played on the Park County Pee Wee hockey team. Yeah? Well, it just so happens that the Pee Wee hockey team this year needs a coach. Me? Oh, God. Here we go with the frickin' record player again. Bicycle. And his only way out is to coach a Pee Wee hockey team. And now, he's about to find out. That to coach, you've got to grow. Oh, that's actually adorable. But I'm guessing since it's a South Park, some bats probably gonna happen. All right, all right, shut up. We're going to practice. You two guys play defense, and you play goalie. I can't play goalie. Why not? Oh. My doctor says I'm not supposed. What, you got asthma or something? No, he has cancer. What? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, that's horrible. <laughs> Stan thought he had asthma, and then he says, nope, he has cancer. That's fucked. Nelson has leukemia. It's already spread to his bone marrow. Oh. oh. See, I knew they were going to do something pretty bad with these kids. You know what? I'm pretty sure this is just the Mighty Ducks, basically. Oh no, Adams County! We just thought we'd come check out the ice for the game tomorrow. Gavin Throttle, coach of the Adams County team. Hey, look. What oh, what a dick. That's horrible. Are these real children? Like, what the hell? I'm tired. I'm going to bed. What are we going to do, Sharon? What? Don't you get it? He's getting back into hockey to... Okay, what's going on with Randy? He's like being a little more overdramatic than usual. Prove something to himself. So he can forget what happened in that Pee Wee skirmish. 
Maybe he doesn't remember. He was only four. Oh, he remembers. I'm sure it eats at him every single day. That's number, number seven, seven, Stan Marks, skating towards the <laughs> goal, sort of. But he doesn't have the puck. Aw, little Stan. Gross. Oh, and it appears the goalie has pooped his pants. Oh, there you go, Stan. Oh, look at this. Little Stan March actually has a shot. Get it, at Stan. <laughs> look at Randy's hair. <laughs> That's crazy. And uh, Sharon looks pretty good with long hair. She shouldn't have cut it. <laughs> what the hell, Randy? Almost. <laughs> oh, that's the end of the game. How disappointing. Why is Randy taking this so seriously? Ten for the worst, I'm Ooh, that's not Cancers. good. Real bad. I'm pretty sure every cancer is real bad. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Oh. Doctors say this could be it. How am I supposed to do it, coach? How do I look a five-year-old child in the eye and tell him he's not gonna live? You tell me, coach! <laughs> you tell me how! <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm not I don't think kids with cancer is funny. I'm just laughing at how, how over dramatic this is. Like, why does this guy think Stan can do anything about it? He's like what, nine? Like seriously. Stop it, Jack! He doesn't mean to take it out on you, coach. No, I don't mean to take it out on you, coach. It's just I don't know what to say to him, coach. Huh? Neither of us do. What do you say to somebody who yeah, it, there's really it's really hard to say something to someone who's dying, but I'm pretty sure a nine-year-old wouldn't know what to say. He's dying, huh? I don't know. Will you talk to him, coach? He looks up to you. No, I think you oughta. <laughs> nah, I'm just his father. <laughs> You're his coach. You're like a father to him. Please, coach, he's, he's going to... <laughs> There's, they're pretty terrible to put a little nine-year-old to handle a situation like this. Man, this kid's not doing too well. It's a pretty bad time for me, coach. I'm only five and I'm dying. Coach, what's it like when you die? Well, I'm not sure. I would think that... It's a lot like it was before you were born. How come I have to die now? Ugh. Man, those are some seriously tough questions, man. Like, I don't even think I know the answers to that. That's rough. God damn it. Dude, I don't know. I'm sorry. No, what I mean is nobody really knows, see? But everyone does it. I mean, it's not like everyone else gets to live and only you have to die. Everyone's gonna die. You feel better now? I think so. Okay, great. Look, I, I gotta get to the stadium, but, uh, hang in there, alright? <laughs> That's such a half-assed thumbs up. Well, then, will you just win for me? Okay. Not gonna lie, that's a little rough, man. It's like, what would you do in that situation? Especially if you're, like, nine years old, and this little kid's, like, dying. Like, what do you do to make him feel better? It's pretty fucked. Oh god, that dude. Stan Marsh has always lived a carefree life. But in the blink of an eye, what seemed important Why is this guy here? Coach, can I talk to you for a second? Come to surrender, coach. Look, there's a kid on You know, I just noticed Stan actually looks pretty good in that little suit he's wearing. My team who's got cancer and he wants us to win this game really bad, so could you just give us kind of a break? Ha! I don't think so, coach. We're gonna beat you into the ground. Damn, savage. They look pretty strong, coach. I think Nelson's gonna die. <laughs> Good luck, coach. You're gonna 
Oh god, they can't even play. You know, with how pumped up the other team was, I actually thought they were going to actually do pretty good, but they're not doing anything. And that's the end of the game. The result is a tie. Tie? Oh, this dude's everywhere. Stan Mersh was supposed to win it all. Does God hate me? Oh, hello, coach. Uh, hi, Doc. How's he doing? Well, he isn't worse, but he isn't getting better. It's almost as if his cancer were tied. <laughs> oh my. Oh. How does cancer get tied? <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> oh, my cancer. He seems to have put all his hope into you winning that game. And with the tie, he's in a kind of cancer limbo. <laughs> well, what can I do? Oh, for me. Just be aware of this, coach. If you lose the big game, that little boy is gonna die faster than Steve Irwin in a tank full of stingrays. <laughs> oh, oh my god, that's so mean. I can't believe they said that. I'm pretty sure this episode came like around the time Steve Irwin died, so that was pretty savage. Last time we played Denver, they scored seven times. Look, guys, I believe in you. Nelson believes in you. Doesn't that count for anything? No, because they're going to kill us. They're not going to kill us. That's what Steve Irwin said about those <laughs> That's so mean. <laughs> Damn. That's fucked up. Haven't you guys ever seen these movies? We're just supposed to rally together, believe in ourselves. Yes, I've seen these movies. It's pretty much just the Mighty Ducks. And we win in the end. No. In the movies, they always go out and find a kid who's really good. Oh, that's true. To join the team. Hey, that's right. We need a ringer. Oh, Ike. Hell yeah, Ike. <laughs> it's so slow. One game. He won't get hurt, I promise. Oh god, freaking Randy. Can you believe it, Stan? The Pepsi Center. And sit there in that same crowd and watch you destroy yourself again. You know what's funny is I don't think Stan even remembers. Oh, Stan. Of all the places, why did it have to be the Pepsi Center? Alright, alright. I'll go. No, no, I want to go. I'm going to be there for you, and I'll be rooting louder than anybody, saying, that's my... All right, all right. Sorry, boys. You aren't playing tonight. Huh? The other Pee Wee hockey team didn't show up. There's nobody for you to play. Damn. They're making their trip, though. Well, who are they going to play? They can take our place. Yeah, let them play the oh. Red Wings. Play the Red Wings? coaches... You know what? That's not... You know what, that might not be too bad. I mean, since they're adults, um, they might go easy on them, you know? Adams, we get set to start the final period. Your attention, please. For this third and final period, the Detroit Red Wings will be playing... So, since they're, like, really small, I'm sure these adults, you know, will go easy on them, you know, just to make them feel good. So, let's see. Oh. Okay. Whoa, whoa. Oh, ho, ho, ho. whoa. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> wow. What the hell? They're just slamming the hell out of those kids. <laughs> look at fucking look at fucking Randy. Sit your ass down, Randy. Oh, damn. Oh, whoa. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, holy fuck. This got fucking zero to 100. 
Zero to 100, holy shit. Damn. Jesus. They destroyed them, holy shit. Oh my god, of course they're playing the same song from the ending of the Mighty Ducks, of course. Oh man. <laughs> this is ridiculous. What are they celebrating for? Like, they beat the shit out of some kids that could barely skate. What the fuck? <laughs> Oh my god, Randy. Gee. Randy's losing his shit. Oh. Okay. Oh my god. This is messed up, man. They did a number on him. Shit. You know what? That was pretty awful, but I'm not gonna lie. That was funny. That was just so hilarious just because how fast it escalated. And see, the other thing that I find kind of funny about this is the way these grown-ass adults are just celebrating for beating up kids. Like, seriously? But whatever, at least they get a happy ending, I guess. I kind of want to know their story now. Uh-oh. Oh, damn, damn, that's messed up. Okay, honest opinion, I think it was an okay episode, but I'm not going to lie, the end of the episode was pretty funny. Now, I know it's a little fucked up and messed up, but the reason why I think it's so funny is it just happened so fast, man. It went to zero to a hundred, like quickly and they were beating the shit out of those kids like they stomped on their face was slamming them just punching them like it was awful and then the adults were celebrating like they did something like i don't know that's funny to me i i mean i have a dark sense of humor and i know the cancer kid like died towards the end but you know i don't think this was meant to be taken serious so i i thought it was pretty funny just because how dark and crazy the ending was so yeah, that, that was a pretty solid episode, I think, personally. Uh, thanks for watching.